All right, Star, when you win a game 11 nothing in 16 different players, tally a point. There's not a lot of mystery in terms of the post-game discussion and the move-forward discussion for Team USA. What's on your mind, though? Well, the coaching staff will take a look at the films and see what they like and probably go down to the lounge and celebrate this one a little yeah. bit. And then tomorrow morning they're going to get back to work. And the thing that they're going to discuss is they established their identity, which is what they wanted to do, that they could be a big, heavy team with speed and skill. That's what they were advertised as. And their defensemen tonight I thought were much better than they were the other night. They didn't give up any shots. Osher was out, man. Okay, so we got that part of it. Yeah. I think right now what becomes the big discussion is who plays goal against the Czech Republic. Dustin Wolf didn't get tested, but he did get tested against the Russians, and he played well. Spencer Knight didn't have a great night against the Russians. We've been through that, but you need two goalies prepared, ready, and battle-tested to get into that three games in four nights to go win a gold medal. I think it's really important that Knight plays, not take anything away from Dustin Wolf, but to keep that battle for the number one spot and whose net it's going to be running on the January 2nd, I think is a really important theme for Team USA right now. The United States will pick up group play on the 29th at 2 p.m. Eastern against the Czech Republic, a country they have beaten the last six times they faced in this tournament. Tournament. The last loss to the Czechs in the World Junior Championships, 2012, in a tournament that the United States would like to forget.